Hello, welcome to another beer review. Right, today we're going to uh, Belgium and it's from Grand Carlou. This is their Roden Bash. This is a sour beer, a Flounders Red Ale coming at 6% ABV and 35 IBUs. It's coming in a, I assume it's a 300 and 30 mil, yeah, 330 mil bottle as it says on the front. You know more than me already. Or 11.2 fluid ounces if you're in America. So it's one of them kind of smaller bottles. I know they can do the bigger bottles of this, so, so it's an import from Belgium. Best before the 19th of August of 2017. So we are, I'm actually just reviewing this on the 1st of August. Four minutes past twelve. Um, I've had this beer since ooh, October of 2016, so it's aged for a while. It's just come out of the fridge, so it's got a little bit of a kind of a silver thing going on here. So yeah, let's crack this open. Hopefully, it doesn't go everywhere, but there's always a chance it may do. So if it does, I would uh, dart to the right. No, nope. a little bit of smoke, nothing going on there. It's a black ball cap, by the way. So, let's see how this goes. I've never had this beer before. I purchased this beer at the Ramsgate Brewery back in October, I think, or maybe September, late September, early October. Okay of 2016 so yeah let's see how this beer goes colour wise it's a nice kind of dark ruby colour with a hint of kind of cherry although I don't know if it's looking in the glass there's a little bit of light bleeding through going upwards there looks very similar to a kind of a real dark scotch ale kind of colour. Let's get in the rainbow then. Wow. It's definitely a kind of a, a balsamic vinegar aroma to it. Yeah, you could, you could pour this on if you're having fish and chips in the UK, it's that kind of aroma to it. You definitely know it's a sour ale. This is going to be an interesting one for my palate. Because I remember when I first started drinking sours, I was thrown in a deep end with this kind of aroma of, of a sour. Um, so yeah, this could be quite interesting. Well, let's see how my palette has developed for this one. Cheers. Wow. That is a sour reaction for me. <laughs> I mean, this is a classic beer. There's a lot of people that have had this beer, of course. In fact, I can give you the uh, the total amount of people that had this untapped currently. One hundred and forty-four thousand four hundred eighty-eight. And there's been 196,100 ratings on Untapped, so that's a lot. It's one of them high higher end sours for that that kind of. If there was an international sour unit, if that makes sense, compared to the bitter in unit, this would probably be in the 90 to 100 
in that kind of scale for my palette. Underlying that obvious, real strong sourness, there's a nice kind of biscuity, bready, crackery malt base to it. When I get sours to this level, I'm like, what am I actually looking for? Because I'm not that experienced on this kind of high level sour. I'm just showing uh, the offline hangout what beer I'm drinking. It's very tart, not tart, but uh, palate puckering. It's one of them beers. Hmm. Wow, that is really. It's 35 IBUs. It's not that bitter. Just that acidity, bitterness. It's lovely though. It really is a nice kind of palate changer, cleanser. Not cleanser, but when you're going from style to style, it's like I think that's what's making it more kind of intense. Um, I mean, I've had, today I've had a wheat beer. I've had a white stout. Um, I've had a Berlin of Ice, I've had a Gold Nail, yeah, a Craft Lager, so I've, I've really matched it up tonight. Um, yeah, this is, um, this is fantastic, it really is. If you're not used to the style of a, of a sour beer, this definitely will be overpowering your palate you're going to take one taste and you're going to think I can't drink it and this was and that was me two years ago 2015 I done a, I done a review with uh, Simon Martin and uh, Rob Derbyshire and one of the beers was like this and I, and I was really struggling with it um, I've had two years I've had a few, you know, gozers and sours, balloon of ices, quite a lot this year actually, and my palate is really kind of adjusted to this style of beer. But even even now, after all them beers, this is just a little bit too much even for me. I'm still enjoying it though. Still a great beer. Maybe by the time I get down to about there, I'm going to like it even more. As for a rating then, um, sorry it's a long review. I'm, I was kind of mentally trying to dissect it and then just gave it out to you guys. Um, it's a world class beer for sure. I can tell it's quality and it's how it's supposed to taste I do, I do know that um, I'm guessing that this uh, brewery has been around since 1821 for me I'm giving that an 8.5 out of 10 I think that's a really quality sour in the style um, if you're not used to the sour style, I would stick away from it for a while. Do come, do some of the kind of lower, um, not ABV beers, but of this style. But yeah, do do, do some of the kind of uh, maybe like Berlin of Ices and the lower ABV style of beers. I mean, this is. Um, Six percent. It's not. It's not too drastic, but get some of the kind of entry level sours. That's what I recommend personally. But but yeah, it's a lovely beer to me. Um, 
I reckon within about two or three years, if I re-reviewed this, I'd probably give it a higher level grade than what I'm giving it now. I'm just grading it on where my palette is now. Anyway, I'm waffling on like a an old woman. So, if you've had this beer before, let me know your thoughts and opinions. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Um, eventually, I will get a sour playlist and I'll put it down below eventually. But um, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. That would be really cool. Give us a thumbs up on the way out and I'll see you on the next review. Cheers.